Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the fifth episode of The Sealed Nectar, a book written on the biography of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. In today's episode, we'll read page 69 and 70. Let's start it. They covered him until he restored security. He apprised Kadisha of the incident of the cave and added that he was horrified. His wife tried to soothe him and reassured him, saying, All who will never disgrace you. You unite uterine relations, you bear the burden of the weak. How hipside path of the Yundi. You entertain the guests and endure she set out with the prophet, peace be upon him, to her cousin Waraka ben Nafal ben Asit ben Asterisk. ABD al Asterisk Yuza, who had embraced Christianity in the pre Islamic period and used to write the Bible in Hebrew. He was a blind old man. Kadisha said, My cousin, listen to your nephew. Waraga said, O oh my nephew, what did you see? The messenger of all peace be upon him, told him what had happened to him. Waraka replied, This is Namus i.e. the angel who is entrusted with divine secrets that all sent to Moses. I wish I were younger. I wish I could live up to the time when your people would turn you out. Muhammad peace be upon him asked, Will they drive me out? Waraka answered in the affirmative and said, Anyone who came with something similar to what you have brought was treated with hostility. And if I should be alive till that day, then I would support you strongly. A few days later Waraka died and the revelation also subsided. At Tabari and Ibn Hisham reported that the messenger of all peace be upon him left the cave of Hira after being surprised by the revelation but later on returned to the cave and continued his solitude. Afterwards, he came back to Mecca. At Tabari reported on this incident, saying, After mentioning the coming of the revelation, the messenger of all peace be upon him said, I have never abhorred anyone more than a poet or a madman. I cannot stand looking at either of them. I will never tell anyone of Quraysh of my revelation. I will climb a mountain and throw myself down and die. That will relieve me. I went to do that they mountain and throw myself down and die. That will relieve me. I went to do that but halfway up the mountain I heard a voice from the sky saying, O oh, Muhammad, you are the messenger of all hand, I am Gabriel. I looked upwards and saw Gabriel in the form of a man putting his legs on the horizon. He said, O oh, Muhammad, peace be upon him. You are the messenger of all peace be upon him, A.M. Gabriel. I stopped and looked at him. His sight distracted my attention from what I had intended to do. I stood in my place transfixed. I tried to shift my eyes. He was in every direction I looked at. I stopped in my place without any movement until Kadisha sent someone to look for me. He went down to Mecca and came back while I was standing in the same place. Jibril then left, and I went back home. I found Kadisha at home, so I sat very close to her. She asked, Father of all Qasim, where have you been? I sent someone to look for you. He went to Mecca and returned to me. I told her of what I had seen. She replied, It is a propitious sign, O my husband. Pull yourself together. I swear by all that you are a messenger for this nation. Then she stood up and went to Waraka and informed him. Waraka said, I swear by all that he has received the same name as I angel that was sent to Moses. He is the prophet of this nation. Tell him to be patient. She came back to him and told him of Waraga's words. When the messenger of all peace be upon him finished his solitary stay and went down to Mecca, he went to Waraka, who told him, You are the prophet of this nation. I swear by all that you have received the same angel that was sent to Moses. Interruption of Revelation, Ibn Sa'd reported on the authority of Ibn Abbas that the revelation paused for a few days. After careful study, this seems to be the most possible. To say that it lasted for three and a half years, as some scholars allege, is not correct, but here there is no room to go into more details. Meanwhile, the Prophet peace be upon him was caught in a sort of depression coupled with astonishment and perplexity. Al-Bukhari reported the divine inspiration paused for a while and the Prophet, peace be upon him, became so sad, as we have heard, that he intended several times to throw himself from the tops of high mountains. And every time he went up the top of a mountain in order to throw himself down, Jibreel would appear before him and say, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, 
you are indeed Allah's messenger in truth, whereupon his heart would become quiet and he would calm down and return home. Whenever the period of the coming of the revelation used to become long, he would do as before, but Jibreel would appear again before him and say to him what he had said before. That's it for today's video. If you found this topic interesting and want more content like this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for our next video on another interesting episode. Thanks for watching.